Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisidu. In this installment in the Calculus series, I will discuss how to use a table of integrals. The examples that I will use refer to the text Table of Derivatives and Integrals with Selected Special Functions. A table of integrals is a compilation of integration results. It is useful as a reference for easy as well as difficult integrals and as a time saver in preventing having to rework often tedious and very time consuming derivations. Most integrals that you will come across, other than very elementary examples, will not look exactly the same as a result in a table. It may be necessary to try to rearrange the integrand into a specific form, simplify it by algebraic manipulations, trigonometric identities, other identities, or a combination of those techniques. The point of rearranging the integrand is so that it takes the general form of an integral in the table. For example, we can use the table to calculate integral 1. The integral in the table that looks most like this one is entry IA202 found in integrands containing the square root of x squared minus a squared in the algebraic integrals category. The main parts of the integrand of integral 1 are similar to those in IA202. So use the substitution u equals the square root of 8x. Substituting into the table formula, and the integral now has the exact same form as entry IA202 from the table, with the exception of the square root of 8 multiplier. Now applying the formula from entry IA202 with a squared equals 3, we get the somewhat long expression, then rewriting the integral in terms of x, and finally after simplifying we get 